Hello there and welcome. Jürgen here and I have this small video to talk about this lens. It is my favorite all-around all Canon lens and I have used it many years. It's 18-235mm f3.5 uh, lens and what I like about this lens is that it has a lot of range. Uh, it has quite wide angle at the low end and you can zoom quite a lot. And when you're zoomed in, it has quite good bokeh at the background. And it's very good for run and gun documentary style filmmaking, which I like to do a lot. Because if you want to have just one lens uh, with you, if you are on a go, uh, try to follow someone, what they are doing on their daily basis, or you try to show what they do for their living or something like that, uh, you just want to have one lens so you don't have to change lens because it takes time. In my style of filmmaking, uh, I like to film subjects so that I don't set up the scenes beforehand and I just follow them and I want I want the film to look like uh, they're not acting so like the camera is just flying around there and they do their thing and they don't even know the camera is there. So this is very good for that. I have used it a lot with my trusty Canon 650D uh, T4i Rebel or something, other name. And it's it's been very good. I have used it of course with better cameras. Uh, I filmed one documentary style uh, in the real thing with 70 Mark III or something and this was like very good beast with that. It works very well handheld because it has inbuilt stabilizer and that is very good and if you have want to have even more stable you just pop this stabilizer on, film your stuff, when you go to Premiere you choose a warp stabilizer, put something like 20 or 15 percent so it's not over the top and voila, it's perfectly stable. Or if you want to have small cinematic movements which you make with your body, like move from side to side, like a slider, or from up, uh, from down to up, like dolly or something like that, just use warp stabilizer with this lens and it's very good. But I don't want to use too much stabilizer, even though it's very handy, because I like that the footage looks like someone has filmed it uh, like the camera isn't in some kind of machine so there is small movements and imperfections if you might say and that's just my style someone wants to do very cinematic and that's fine I like it too but I like to have this raw uh, not perfect wood feel because then Especially if you want to show someone doing their daily things, it feels more real, at least for me. And uh, so this is very good lens if you are using especially crop sensor cameras and low-end cameras because it gives a quite sharp image with those two. And it works with the better cameras too. So, And it only costs three to four hundred uh, euros or dollars almost the same and you can find it a bit cheaper used and I like the build quality it's quite heavy so that helps with stabilizing too and I have used it many years and I still use it almost in every project of course if you want to film some movie or a very expensive looking commercial you won't use this or this camera but for my kind of Documenters are low budget filmmaking. This is very perfect. So here is more footage with this. And if you like this content, subscribe, leave comments, and uh, check more footage from this lens. Bye.